Hi everyone, Flauk here, back for another episode of Earthbound. Um, last episode we had made it back from uh, the Happy Happy Village as well as spoke to the Runaway Five and got them out of debt and they dropped off, dro dropped off, uh, dropped us off in Threed. This episode we are going to be exploring Threed and kind of seeing what's happening here. Starting off with the circus tents. Yeah, so the circus tent is home of a very famous glitch in Earthbound. Not the one that I spoke about last episode, um, but a different one called the Threed Tent Glitch. So if you're playing on a re-release, I highly recommend making a restore points as you may very much screw up the game. So if you kind of nudge, kind of nudge yourself into this corner, the game just starts to freak out. And you can see it's just putting a lot of cues. And we can kind of see where this goes. But uh, basically what's happening here is Earthbound is kind of programmed in an interesting way. As everything is put oh okay i guess it stopped oh is everything okay no problem here yeah so everything is put onto one map so everything is interconnected and because everything's interconnected there has to be an edge of the world somewhere and the edge of the world just happens to be in this tent. And uh, this glitch can do many things, like it uh, can open up certain debug menus, can infinitely repeat sequences, and can generally mess your game up. At some point, I may come back and try and do some exploring, see what we can do with this. But for now, I think it's best if we just continue forward. So, last episode we explored the lower half of Threed, but we never actually went up north. So, this time let's explore the northern areas of Threed. And obviously for how dark of an area this is, there's obviously gravestones and for some reason, Magical picture man. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say. Fuzzy pickles. Yeah. Kind of, uh... Interesting. Actually, completely forgot that that guy was there. Just kind of chanced it. And you thought it was a garbage can, but you are mistaken. It's the Putrid Moldy Man. Putrid Moldy Man, um, is not the craziest. Has a couple of attacks that can be a little annoying, but nothing too crazy. You can use some low-level PSI attacks. And, oh, I guess you solidify and defeat. All right. And, oh, Ness is up to level 20. Ooh, big level up, huge level up. Ness learned the power of PSI beta, life up beta rather. Yeah, Um. so if you're wondering, the putrid moldy man's uh, two attacks are, uh, oh, there's a, oh, I guess, can we have two teddy bears? I, I guess so. I didn't even realize that that was a teddy bear. But uh, the attacks that the Putrid Moldy Man has are uh, a basic low-level bash attack, but can also scatter moldy spores. Moldy spores will... Um, will cause Ness or Paula to start crying. 
<laughs> as you can see, it used it, and oh, okay, there went the teddy bear. Um, but in this one, we also have another fight. We have the Smelly Ghost. The Smelly Ghost uh, isn't crazy for how dangerous it can be, but can certainly cause some annoying, some annoyances. Um, if I remember, I believe it's weak, or it's, uh, strong against PSI Freeze, but weak against, uh, PSI, uh, Fire, and it's using its do-nothing attack. It also has pretty high defense. It has a, uh, has a defense stat significantly higher, almost double of any single, uh, enemy here, with a pretty average health pool, or pretty average health size. It can be a, it can be a nasty guy to take care of. But we're the main characters. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of a lot of enemies. We've uh, we've already fought the two uh, trash can like enemies. So I'm trying to uh, Yeah, that fight didn't pan out exactly how I thought, but that's alright, because we have some enemies I'd like to fight. Hopefully that's the putrid moldy man, not the smelly ghost. Of course it was the smelly ghost. So, the uh, the enemy's called the zombie possessor. Not a ghost. Um, It has a decent amount of... Uh, Attacks that it can do has four different attacks it can do, one of which is call for help. So I recommend taking out the zombie possessor as soon as possible, just to avoid a situation where the zombie possessor may call in some backup. But other than that, it's not crazy. And how it, um, and the attacks that it has, but it does also have an interesting effect, sort of effect attack. I'm going to try and kill this guy before. Ooh. All right. Uh, I just made the wrong play. Uh, the zombie possessor has one very interesting attack, however. Um. Pretty sure this is just a... I legitimately could have sworn that that was just a normal guy. Oh, gosh. Well, I can kind of go over a little bit here. The Zombie Possessor has one other attack that I got the uh, got the attack that I was uh, interested in getting. It can possess you. So, that will cause... Um, oh my gosh, I am like... That will cause this ghost to fly around you. And the ghost has a couple of little... Uh, little quirks that it can do. Oh, 
I don't want to fight anyone. Gosh. You can see it just lags the game. So it can sometimes hit you for 1 HP in battle. Um, and there's not really many ways that you can do it, but it doesn't go away. It just doesn't. I think there might... I think the healer may be able to uh, take care of it for you. But let's just get Paula back up and running. And eh, she's full HP. But uh, yeah. Let's see. Purify? Okay, yeah. The hero lure will uh, we'll help you out in that situation. But uh, yeah, kind of an interesting uh, attacker there. This town seems very dark. Great. The people are mostly living in the center of town. Wonder how we should get the, the town back from the zombies. Oh, there's trick or treat kid. Don't really need that too much. Um, yeah, very interesting enemies. Nothing crazy. However, um, there is a couple more enemies that are available for us to fight here. But uh, we can come back and fight them later. For now. Dig around the trash can and find insecticide spray. Those will be good against the uh, the no-good flies. And we come up here and he stares into your soul. He looks over. He, he looks you over. Interesting. No, well, not much over there. So we'll kind of back out. Oh, another magical butterfly. This is a part where I'd like to go over a little bit of trivia about this game. So in the Japanese version, this town is actually not called Threed, it's called Threek. Like T-H-R-E-E-K instead of D. I personally think as a name, it's way better. But I could see why they changed it. Because you can loosely misinterpret... Oh, that's... Oh, gosh. Okay, there's a lot of guys over there. You can loosely misinterpret it as, instead of three... Threek, you can misinterpret it as 3K. Which, you know, isn't very... Wouldn't really appeal to an American audience. So, I understand the change. But it doesn't stop it from being a really good pun. Regardless of some of the people I've seen her hanging out with, I'd like to spend some time with her. Take a look at that chick in front of the hotel. So this is kind of a interesting remote text. After you talk to the zombies, but before you do the thing, you can talk to that guy and he will tell you that he's interested in this chick. Hmm. Um. Maybe, maybe we'll take a look at that in a minute. A zombie! I'm watching a zombie movie. Can you come by later? You're awfully kind for taking the time to talk to the mouse. This mouse loves you. Um, I don't actually have anything specific I want to look at, but I just want to make sure I didn't forget anything. There's the zombies whisper. Mas Master Belch will give us our lives back. Master Belch is a zombie leader. He must be really pukey. An interesting uh, word to describe something, but okay. Yeah, I think that's kind of all what this, what I have to show in the town, so we may as well go into the hotel. And, ooh, the music, it's all spooky. Ooh. Actually, here's one thing. I've never actually checked. Be careful walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. Ah, 
I've never actually heard this song to completion. Interesting. Yep. You get jumped. Oh. Oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? Yeah, it looks like we're stuck. The door is locked. I'm calling out to you, whoever I've never met. I'm calling our friend who we've never met. Jeff, Jeff, we need your help. I am Paula and I am with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. 